quality educational system raises people's productivity and creativity and promotes entrepreneurship and advancement in technology. This, perhaps, explains why the Governor Ifani Okoa-led government is sparing no resources and efforts in providing the necessary inputs and processes inextricably linked to the making of a quality educational system in Delta State. On this episode, we shall be bringing you up to date with recent developmental steps taken by Governor Ifani Okoa to make learning and teaching a worthy experience throughout the basic, secondary, technical and tertiary institutions in the state. Please stay with us. In about seven years and counting, the Delta State Government has been very focused on efforts towards standardizing the quality of education at all levels. Senator Dr. Efain Atokoa, he has done marvelously well in terms of the educational institutions in Delta State, both the higher institutions, the secondary and then the primary schools. There are a lot of projects that have been initiated by the governor. And if you look around the whole of Delta State, you will see many projects that have taken place since he came on board. Governor Kowa is not only investing in education, he's investing in all aspects of development in Delta State. If it's possible to say, Okowa remain there forever, people will say it. To secure a solid foundation for the younger generation, Governor Kowa has over the years ensured maximum attention is paid to the development and standardization of public primary and secondary schools in the state. He has, through the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education and other assisting agencies, implemented laudable policies and programs such as the provision and rehabilitation of physical infrastructures, upgrade of facilities, rejigging of curriculum in line with modern day realities. So far, Bokoa has done very well. Before he came in, the education sector was at least a step on board. But at the moment, I would say he has taken it more than three steps ahead. As I travel around the state, I've seen a lot of schools which before were dilapidated and have been reconstructed. And that's a boost for the educational sector. Our class are now well functioned. We have fans that is blowing us every time. All the equipment that we now have in my school will help me to become a medical doctor. For example, the chemistry lab. Before we have no lab that they can use to teach us how to make experiments well. But now we have good lab that we can use to do experiments in our school. I want to wish Governor Koa long life and prosperity. Schools like Government Model Primary School, Asaba, Emore Grammar School, Iogbadu Secondary School, Ami Day Secondary School, Igubo Tiku Secondary School and a host of others are some of the schools that recently experienced the transformation touch of the governor with the upgrade of infrastructures and provision of basic facilities. Students and teachers in these schools attest to this. I want to thank Governor Kua for all the things he has done to our school. The equipment, the lab, the library. I'm seeing good change in me because before in our old former classroom, I was not brilliant like this, but as we came to this place, I'm very brilliant now. In fact, I'm the prefect of my class. We give kudos to Governor Ifai Kua for what he's doing. As a pioneer in this school, Iguba Otiku, I knew how we started, but today it's a different story. We are so happy, the children are happy. The school is very nice. Many students come to this school. On behalf of my fellow students and myself, I want to say to Okowa, thank you and God bless you. It is no doubt that high quality infrastructure facilitates effective learning. However, an educational system with improved physical infrastructures but lacking in quality and sufficient manpower is incomplete. This is why the Okoa-led administration has continued to ensure that priority attention is also given to the provision of qualified and quality teachers by ensuring the continuous recruitment of teachers as the need arises. We approved the recruitment of 1,500 new teachers for our secondary schools. 
and this recruitment is going to be based on uh, the CBT test, as a computer-based test, and it's also going to be subject-defined. It's not just going to be a general computer-based test, and it be rest assured that it's not going to be political. It's going to be strictly based on those who are able to emerge victorious in the computer-based test. It is in line with this that the state government recently once again through the state's post-primary education board under the Ministry of Basic and Secondary Education commenced the recruitment exercise for teachers into the various public secondary schools in the state. This thorough selection process began with a computer-based test, CBT, organized at different centers across the state for thousands of applicants. At one of the examination centers at the Delta State University, Abraka, Smart Delta team, who were on ground to capture the process, had a chat with the chairman of the state post-primary education board, Mrs. Christina Italuku, who was at the center on a monitoring routine. She threw more light on the various stages involved in this rigorous selection process. We want to get a good crop of teachers, not just people who we go to the classroom and mess our children up, but people who are grounded, their educational background and their presentation. And we felt the way to go is do a thorough selection all over the world in any recruitment you go through a cbt to do your first selection and so delta cannot be left out in fact we set the pace in nigeria the orderliness the some of the candidates like pios idogu ewenode ajaita and annabelle whom we also met at the center in abraka commended the transparency of the recruitment exercise i've been attending series of test for some time now. For the first time I would say this one is, this is the best. Like the orderliness is actually transparent. Before you see you people like you'll be discouraged because of the way things are arranged but now there is orderliness. Virtually everybody that applied we are selected for this first stage of the recruitment and this first stage it is actually 100% transparent. I know after now we will not go for the next uh, stage that is where they will not require your credentials. A lot of us are graduates looking for job for how many years so for them to bring this idea from 2019 and now they are writing this to employ teachers the government really tried. Also, at one of the centers in Abraka, we met Henry Okaro, a staff of a recruitment company that has continued to partner with the state government over the years in ensuring the computer-based tests in the recruitment process run smoothly. He spoke to us on the effectiveness of the process in recruiting the most qualified candidates. The fact that this process is being put in place is to say that made the best candidate get the job so that's we want the best teacher we want the most smart and intelligent people to be the one that will come into the education sector and be able to teach the young ones and so if we can get this process right it means that those people when they come in based on their performance in the examination then they can be able to transcend and impact same way within the student just like in abraka the situation was no different at the College of Education Worry Center. From the registration to the verification and the examination proper, it was a seamless process. The senior special assistant to the governor on education monitoring, Godwin Edozia, and member of the post primary education board, Anthony Nzuwogo, shared with us their thoughts on the process. Because of the transparency, a process of item generation is serious. It's a whole a lot of effort from the state government. And um, if you go into retrospection, and go to schools, you'll find some teachers that were part of the 1,000 earlier recruited. Find out from them, some of them didn't know any politician, they didn't know anybody, and they got the job. So what we advise people is that they should go study and get themselves prepared to face others. I like the process. In fact, uh, the governor is fantastic. This will filter out those who are not actually grounded in the subject they fed the right. The interview, the exam is very good. Uh, people like us are not can fit in into this kind of exam. The governor read in those days without computer, but I don't know how he came with this uh, idea. So that has gone to say his potentiality in wisdom and knowledge. I praise him for this.
We also sampled opinions of some of the candidates we met at the centers in Asaba and Oguashuku, respectively. And this is what they had to say. The teacher's recruitment. It will reduce the unemployment level in our society and that way it will reduce the crime rate in the state. And going forward, it will help the youth to contribute their own quarter to national development. I would really love to acknowledge Our Excellency Senator Dr. Ifan Yokoa for his vigor towards making sure that Delta State moves forward. I'm just coming for the test, but I have confidence that if I am given the opportunity, it will help to improve my standard of living. So I appreciate him for giving us this opportunity. The process didn't end there. Candidates that scale through the CBT screening once again assembled in Asaba for an oral interview and micro-teaching. We selected those who met with the cutoff allocated to every subject. Those who will pass are the people that will be recruited. We also sounded out some of the candidates on ground. The process is fair enough. It is what you give that will state if you're qualified to get this job or not. This exam basically is on merit. I must say the transparency is at least 99% guaranteed and I'm satisfied with the process and that's why I'm here. Now truths, we think of no go at talk. 2050 when he enter power, say he won't make the other state a model learning center for this country. <laughs> Vero, ah, you don't start again. Every day, you must come outside, come talk something about Governor Koa. <laughs> yeah? You know they see the many better things when Governor Koa did do for Delta <laughs> States. I hear what you talk, indeed. No doubt there is a solid foundation for the future of this our younger generation. Since over five years ago, when we returned back to Delta State, I noticed some say my younger brother, they do very well academically now. Of course, why not go improve when we say this Okowa government don't make available quality educational system? Don't be lying, you talk. Governor Okowa, they improve school infrastructures and also they provide quality equipment for learning. Now make our younger ones the day so creative nowadays. You know, notice and say Governor Okowa, they always they provide qualified teachers. It ensure continuous recruitment of teachers. Governor Okowa, making sure the education day for all. Now make and build three new universities. Ongoing constructions of 19 colleges, they in progress. Governor Okowa, still working. Smart Delta. Knowing the importance of teachers' development as being pivotal to quality educational output, the government of Dr. Ifanyo Koa did not stop only at recruiting teachers, but regularly organizes training workshops in order to retool, re equip, and retrain teachers at all levels. One of such is the Capacity Building Training Workshop held recently at the Teachers Professional Development Center in Awoyibu for secondary and technical school teachers. It's a very laudable one. I want to really appreciate His Excellency for making it a routine. You know, I've been saying that it's a yearly program that teachers are trained and retrained and retrained so that they can go back and give their current trains in terms of pedagogy and skills. Teachers go to school to be prepared. That way they acquire knowledge, skills and favorable attitudes. But as they leave school and they begin to work, they begin to forget the fine details of their knowledge base, of their skills base and everything else. So they need to come back for retraining from time to time so that they can improve on their instructional delivery in the school system. Abel, Ajay and Emeka Uyawane alongside some of their colleagues who are assembled from different schools across the state for their training workshop expressed satisfaction with this development. Speaking to us, they emphasized how trainings such as this would help them improve on their teaching methodology and the impact on the students. I'm well impressed and I have to actually appreciate our governor Okowa for packaging this uh, program for the development of the teachers vis-a-vis -vis their impartation on the students. This training that is being organized, it will go far 
on the side of teaching, methodology, delivering method in helping us to deliver our lectures, our lessons proper to enable the children to understand better. Kudos to His Excellency Senator Dr. Kowam. He has improved the educational system in the other states. First thing I came in, I said, wow, he has brought in a Europe down to the other states and the platform of the program is quite encouraging. Governor Ifanyo Koa has continued to maintain the desire to build a functional, result-oriented technical education system as a dependable human capital base for middle-level manpower needs of the state. Hence, his commitment to expanding reach across the 25 local government areas with the ongoing addition of 19 technical colleges to the existing six. The immediate past Chief of Staff Government House Ovie Agas, in company of the Honorable Commissioner for Technical Education, Shola Ogbemi Daibo, recently embarked on an inspection tour round three of these newly established colleges. As they are almost set for inauguration and subsequent use for teaching and learning. The Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ato Ifan Yokoa, places a lot of premium on technical and vocational education. He realizes from the beginning, from the word go, that going forward, that will change the narratives of our youths. We needed to equip them with relevant skills, knowledge and aptitude. Consequently, he decided from the word go to quickly renovate, upgrade the existing ones and build additional technical colleges. This is one of our star projects, the Igasaba Technical College. It's where we went around and I can tell you that over 85 to 90 percent of the job has been done. Every time I come to my technical colleges, I feel so fulfilled because see that is the quality of university. It's not just a secondary school. You know, like when I went to a friend, I was like, ah, I wish we can turn all this thing to university. But that's to tell you the love and the kind of things governor want to do for the citizens of Delta and which is really for us to applaud the governor for the good work that he's doing. To further bridge the gap in the educational needs in the state, and broaden access for the teeming number of students seeking university education. The governor, in the year 2021, took steps to establish three new universities in the states, including University of Delta, Abo, Dennis Osadebe University, Asaba, and the University of Science and Technology, Osoro. Delta State has about 500 public secondary schools, and more than that number, of private secondary schools. Each of these secondary schools churning out brilliant graduates at the SS3 level. And Delta State University, for example, this admission year got 7,000 matriculated. And as we speak, the University of Delta Agbo has admitted about 2,016 students. Delta State University of Science and Technology of Zoro has admitted about 2,000 new students. And the Dennis Asadebe University Asada has admitted over 600 students. Where would these ones have been? As long as there is that need, Delta State will always rise to the challenge to ensure that our children who are brilliant are not left stranded. As far as I'm concerned, that opinion to set up or upgrade the existing institutions into university status is a very good one. The only existing university then, the Delta State University of Abraka, was not enough to take care of the teaming number of students who were subscribing into the university. So it became a thing of concern to government that additional universities has to be set up. And it's a good, a good one. Since approval by the National Universities Commission, NUC, several steps have been taken by the government to facilitate smooth takeoff of these institutions, such as the ongoing upgrade of infrastructures in the various schools. The governor recently paid unscheduled visits to Dennis Osadebe University and the University of Delta Abo on an inspection tour of the ongoing project. <laughs> We can see that there's a lot of change in the University of Delta Abo and uh, we hope that we're able to get it to the desired level of infrastructure in the next one year. Uh, we looked at the gate building too, uh, the gate as we entered, I, I guess that when we finish at the end of this month, it will be quite a good sight to behold. So essentially they've done very well there. So we have ensured that every project that we're doing is something that imparts on the people and it is a people-driven process. 
and to that extent we do the best that we can to complete as many as possible and pay for them the smart delta media team recently embarked on a trip to the university of delta abo where we found out that amidst the ongoing upgrade of infrastructures academic activities have already begun lectures have started in seven faculties that is the hallmark of our achievement. I must commend our able executive governor, Senator Dr. Ifai Atokoa. I have worked with a lot of people, but I have never seen a man that multitasks, apart from managing this big state. He has time for institutions like this, ensuring that these three universities which he created in addition to that of Abraka are all running full steam. Going around the school, we were able to interact with some of the workers on site, handling the various soon-to-be-completed infrastructural projects in the school. And this is what they have to say. Bringing in three new universities to Delta State, state-owned. That tells of uh, the interest of the government in upping the educational standards, reaching the depth and breadth of indigents of uh, Delta State and even beyond. They have shown so much interest even in, on this project. We have had a series of visits from the governor himself to see the level of work. The project is close to 90-95% completion. We also met with some students who expressed joy at the establishment of the school. They share their experiences so far as they applauded the government of Akoa for such a legacy project. The environment is conducive enough for learning. At least the lecturers are putting in their best in order to make sure that we, the pioneer set, achieve the best lecture we are able to achieve. I'm very happy towards the administration of Dr. Ifa in Okowa. Before the establishment of this university, I've tried to get an admission into another university. I couldn't get But the establishment of this university, I was lucky I got the admission. The governor did well by bringing more up universities. He tried really did well. As part of the move towards starting off the universities on the right pedestal, barely a few weeks ago, the governor inaugurated pro-chancellors and chairmen and members of the governing councils of the three universities. Whatever effort we have achieved uh, through the last few months was principally because of the work that many of you who are already members here did, and I'm truly, eternally very grateful to each and every one of you. Your you are a visionary. I assure you, sir, that as long as there's still any breath left in me, we will make sure that this legacy that you have set will outlive not just you, but all of us. Smart Delta. The Okoa led government, upon assumption of office in 2015, defined a vision of making the state a model center of learning in the country and he has since then run with an unmatched zeal to make this happen with the provision of improved infrastructure quality and skilled teachers and the continuous expansion of access to learning at all levels there is no doubt that a solid foundation for the future of the younger generation is assured Thank you for staying with us on today's episode of Smart Delta. I am Evelyn Ocheke. The feedback segment. This week, we received a question from mm. Goswell Merritt on our Facebook platform, and it reads, Good day, sir. Please, I heard that the new University of Delta Arbor has medicine and law departments. Please, I would like to know when the school would start admitting students into these departments. Thank you, God's will, uh, for your question and for your interest in the uh, University of Delta Arbor. The National Universities Commission has already approved a faculty of law. As we speak, we are still expecting the resource inspection visit by the Council for Legal Education. In addition to authenticating the facilities that are available for the Faculty of Law, the Council will tell us the number of students we are going to start with. Once we are giving approval for a particular number, we will release the admission list 
for the Faculty of Law. For the School of Medicine, we are in the process of commencing a College of Medical Sciences. That college will have a School of Medicine, will have a School of Dentistry, will have a School of Basic Medical Sciences. I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 081211921233 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do you better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okoa is the do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth say them hila. Okoa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Okoa. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.